Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yasha ala koholoim la. Yahweh ba Hashem Yahushai ba Hashem Rakahakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water. To all the Akim and Nakwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh ba Hashem Yahushai to the best of their ability. Yachana and Nakwaf just coming at you with another quick lesson or another warning or another, you know, <laughs> public service announcement. To you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, your biblical nationality is your, your Hebrew Israelites. That's your biblical nationality. There's no such thing as blacks, African Americans, Haitians, Jamaicans, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, uh, you know, all these different names that the colonizer gave you. Those names are not scriptural. Those names are not in the Bible. You come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob's name was changed into Israel or Yahshua in the Hebrew tongue which means he is the prince of the power. So you're basically princes of the power, princes of Yahweh, which is the true name of the father, which means that he exists or the existing one in Paleo Hebrew. And the true name of the son, our king, our savior, that's coming to get us out of the hands of our enemies. That's the true good, good news is that our Lord, Yahweh Shai, that's the true name of the son, not Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. And he's coming to deliver us out of the hands of our enemies and set up his kingdom and, and our kingdom basically as co-heirs, you know, with him. So white Jesus Christianity has taught the world that, you know, there's some white guy, blonde hair, blue eyed white guy that's coming back to save everybody. You know, see Esau to Edom, that's the biblical name for the so-called white man. He has basically gotten a hold of the most powerful book in the world, whitewashed all the images and told you that they were those people of the scriptures and, and, and it's not true but these are very hateful people the lord set them up to be a whooping stick basically for the children of israel because we were very disobedient very disrespectful um towards the lord the lord done everything for us and we just turned our back on them and basically committed adultery spiritual adultery idolatry you name it just went after the other gods of these other wicked ass heathen nations and this is our punishment but we are at the end of this thing this thing is coming to a head so here, this article right here, it says, shocking video shows neo-Nazis marching outside Disney World chanting, we are everywhere. So when I seen that we are everywhere, I, I already knew what was up. Well, I know they're everywhere. But see, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you don't realize that you actually have enemies. These people don't like you. Now, this right here, they're, you know, they're mentioning, you know, of course, they, of course, they, you know, racial slurs towards us but you know they're gonna kind of more gear this towards the um you know anti-sim thing you know what i'm saying they talking about the a b c d e f g people the lgbtq but see they try and collectively push all that together with your plight with your suffering which it has their suffering don't have nothing to do with your suffering because our su suffering is far worse than theirs but they try and put it together as if you know we're all just this one league of people and we should all be fighting this together but it's never like that when it's on our when it's on our shoulders when it comes down to them that's when they'll start to use you negroes and you're marching and or you're chanting we shall overcome and all this other shit that's when they jump on board and then they get their rights and then they move on about their way once they get their rights and they leave y'all asses behind like they've always done for the past hundred years damn near all that marching, that Martin Luther King, they'll get in on your march as long as they're they're getting their agenda done. But as soon as they get their agenda done, they leaving y'all asses right in the dust. So when it comes to stories like this, leave those people alone. Let them go through what they're going through. We go through what we're going through. Let them handle their own thing. That's just like with the um the Jacksonville, Florida shooting, right? What did they mention? They threw the, 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 the so-called the, the Jews in there because the guy had SWAT stickers on the gun. He didn't shoot no Jews. He shot so-called black people. So how did that even make the news story? See, and, and it's all propaganda. Who knows, man? That could have been all a, a setup anyway. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? Because we understand Esau Eden. We understand. Matter of fact, let me get a quick scripture. I'll read a little bit of this, um, little bit of, um, little bit of this article, which is really nothing to it. The, the title kind of tells it all. They're basically marching through um, Disneyland or down, you know, out there, you know, around Disneyland. And they're basically snatching up LGBTQ flags and, you know, chanting all different types of stuff, you know, um, throwing up the, you know, the, the hell Hitler. They're yelling hell Hitler and all that. Hey, that don't have nothing to do with us, man. 
<laughs> that don't have nothing to do with us at all, man. Let them let them get down, man. Matter of fact, I was already there on that. Let me let me go back on that. Matter of fact, let me just get this. Ecclesiasticus 12 and 10, also known as the Book of Sirach. It says, never trust thine enemy, for like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. See, when these people try and group up with you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, don't trust them. Tell they ass to kick rocks. Go up the street with their march. Keep your march separate from theirs if you're going to do any marching at all, which your marching is not going to do shit neither. What you need to be doing is praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for repentance. That's where we are right now because that's the only fight that we have. The only weapon that we have is our Lord. He's fighting for us. You don't have no, 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 um, no might to fight. Let those, 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 um, them sim people and the LGBTQ people, let them march and do their thing together. Let them group up and get together and do their thing because they've never helped you out. Let them do their thing, man. It says, though he humble himself, and that's when they're going to come and say, hey, well, you know, we're going through the same things. You know, you put together a march and they on the back of your heels uh, uh, pushing their fucking agenda, man. Not caring nothing about what you got going on. They just using you as a as a cloak, so to speak, man. Or a damn ride. They basically jumping in the car on you. It says, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have, have not been altogether wiped away. Which means, basically, they're going to get what they're going to get out of you. And they're going to show you their true colors like, nigger, fuck out of here. We, got, we, we, we don't need you anymore. Get out of here. In the meanwhile, you still struggling. They coming up. And those sim people, they, they done done that multiple times. They done that back in the days. When people was calling them all different types of names. I'm not going to go into the names. When they was being treated like niggas. They used the so-called blacks to come up. And then when they came up, what did they do? They left your ass behind. They didn't do anything for you. Now they're out here in control and running every goddamn thing, you know, and, and, and pushing demonic ass music on you and demonic ass movies on you, you know, giving you all manner of wickedness in your neighborhoods. You see, they didn't came up on you like, ah, oh, yeah, you know, just done stepped all over you, man. You done became a goddamn street to them. They just walking on you like you just a damn sidewalk to them. So let them go through what they're going through, man, because you already know that's what they're going to do. But let's get some of the article. This is um, the New York Post. It says neo-Nazi groups rallied across Orlando, Florida over the weekend, spouting anti-Semitic and racist speech while also destroying LGBTQ pride flags in front of the entrance of Walt Disney World. See, see, they're going to see what, what, what have you been seeing lately? They've been grouping those things up. That's just like the Asian people. When COVID-19 went down and all those Asian people was getting their ass whooped on the subways in New York and all over America, they was getting jumped. And they went to talk about um, um, anti-Asian this. And, and what did the Asians do? Oh, you so-called blacks. Uh, blacks and Asians in solidarity. Blacks and Asians. Because, see, they, they, now they, 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 they get a, a whiff of what you've been going through. Now they want to group up with you. Let their asses do it on their own, man. Y'all be You'll be a fool running around out here marching with any of them, man. Let them do their thing. It says, um... It says, shocking videos on social media show the neo-Nazi groups marching in North Orlando Saturday, waving SWAT sticker flags and shouting, Hell Hitler, we are everywhere. And, and like I said, when I seen that part, we are everywhere, they are everywhere. This is why we tell you, stay the hell out of these people's communities, man. Go out, do your shopping. You got to go to Walmart and it's in their community. Go. Go do that shit early. Come on home. I've been saying it all along. You got business to handle in their neighborhoods, go handle it. You got banking, whatever you got to do, go handle that shit and come on to the house and chill. All that hanging out at their restaurants, because guess what? They're everywhere. They could be playing with your fucking food. You know? Taking a leak in the coffee. We've seen, we've seen all kinds of videos of these people doing shit at restaurants that's just not sanitary. And you know what I'm talking about. So while you going out, and they smiling in your damn face, handing you your Dunkin' Donuts or your damn um, your shake from Tim Hortons or some dumb shit. Something that you can make at home in a blender while you out spending your $5 on your $5 coffee Starbucks and, and you're out at, 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 at you're waiting in the drive-thru. You don't know what they're doing to your food because why these people have a perpetual hatred for you according to Ezekiel 35.
five and five. That's why it's just best. And now is not the time to be doing none of that stuff. Here you go, you wondering why you feeling bad. You done went to a restaurant and now you, you was feeling great before you went there, ate the damn food. Now you feeling all type, some type of way. And a lot of people, they don't even go to the hospital when um, they really be having food poisoning like that. They kind of sleep it off and kind of just be sick for a few days and they kind of, the body kind of, you know, works it out, so to speak. But a lot of the times, man, that be Esau out here fucking with shit, man, in these restaurants. So be careful with stuff like that, man. Because they, he said we are everywhere. They're, they're your politicians. This motherfucker work at the electric company. He works at the water company. You see what I'm saying? He works at your local Walmart. He works at your local Starbucks. He works at your local mechanic shop. He's at the bank. They're everywhere. Just looking like normal people. And you better believe that women is all in on it. Those are the, the ones that, that's considered to be innocent. You see them, they got the little glasses on. You know, they look, look a little prissy. They got, you know, just looking. You know, hey, how you doing? And them, them, them motherfuckers is vicious on the, on the backside, man. So you got to be careful, man. You got to use wisdom out here in these last days. And realize, actually, that you have enemies. When you go into Deuteronomy chapter 28, the Lord said that he was sending us into slavery to our enemies, not your friends. You're running around out here holding hands and marching with these fuckers talking about some kumbaya. We shall overcome. And they're your damn enemies, man. And that's the reason why the Lord going to do two-thirds of our people real dirty. Because what does the scripture say? Let me get this real quick. Let's go to that Proverbs 3 and 31. Y'all better realize that you have enemies, man. Proverbs 3 and 31, it says, Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. What the hell are you out here standing on a long ass line voting for some goddamn cracker that's not going to do nothing for you? Wasting your gas. Big mom out there need her damn, need a damn chair to sit down on as she's creeping up to the goddamn line to put her vote in. Get the hell out of here, man. These people are not going to do nothing for you. You see? Here you go. You got Jake out here running around out here talking about Trump. Make Trump king. Niggas for Trump. See? Them type of, hey, the Lord going to destroy niggas like that, man. And we're not going to be kicked back um, 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 feeling sorry for you fuckers, man. It's going to bring a smile to my face personally. Like for real, for real. Because you're, you're a damn enemy. You're an enemy within the enemy. You're an enemy. You helping the enemy. You're a damn enemy. You you no different than them, man. Here you go. You, you, you've been downtrodden. Fucked all over by these people. And, and yet and still, you out here, you more American than they are. You more patriotic than they are. Because they don't give a shit about this country themselves right now. Other than, them, you know, them Trump supporters. Half the country don't even give a shit. And then a lot of those Trump supporters, they're not going to the military. They're trying to recruit your dumb ass. They're gearing their, their, their recruitment commercials towards you. Pay attention to the commercials when you see these, these army recruit commercials. They're not trying to re recruit none of these clowns. They're trying to recruit your dumb ass. Anyway, let's get some more, man. Florida representative um, Anna V. Eskami, Eskamani, or whatever the hell their name is, uploaded one such video of a group marching by Cranes Roost Park in the center of town, warning that it was yet another example of the far-right extremism growing in Florida. Man, that shit growing all over America. Laura Loomer, a far-right activist and former congressional candidate, also uploaded a video of the groups marching in Orlando, claiming the event was organized by the Goyim, what do you think the Go Goyim name means? Gentiles to them, to them, to them other people, right? Defense League, hate group who shouted anti-Semitic slurs at her. Notable white supremacist John Menadio was seen in the video along with Christopher Fieldhoffs, the leader of the neo-Nazi blood tribe group, Nazis and Altamonte, spring at Crane's Roots Park screaming, we are everywhere. Absolutely disgusting stuff. Another example of the far-right extremism group. See? And there you have it. Here you go. They just marching along. And, and trust me, see, all of them not tat tatted up and, and, and looking. Hey, it, it, they, 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 they in those goddamn khakis with those stupid-ass shoes on, with that dumb-ass shirt. You know? With, they, with the little spiked hair doing shit with that moose in their head trying to look like they're, 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 they're cool. They're everywhere. That little fat ass Miss Piggy. <laughs> Let me some lock, man.
but they're everywhere. And, and, and they're doing all kinds of stuff, man. So in the meanwhile, while you Jake in the hood, y'all worried about, you know, what Rihanna um, going to name her baby and, um, you know, when she's going to show you some pictures. And while y'all out here worried about, you know, Beyonce, her next concert or them, you know, just bullshit, just stupid shit. Stupid shit. St just stupid shit. J Jake just out here just doing dumb shit, man. That's why the brother, man, he done that lesson the other day. The, um, the elder down in Mississippi, man, he was like, Jake is a joke. And, he, and our people are a fucking joke. You out here don't know nothing about a candidate that you even voting for. Don't know nothing about politics at all. So-called white man that told you that you a Democrat and you just, oh, yeah, I'm a Democrat. And you just go vote just Democrat. And the fucking Democrats is dogging your silly ass out, man. <laughs> so, so lock you for the language, man. It just pisses you off, man. But we got enough of this already. But you see how they look. Some of them, you know, you got these weirdos like this with the whole head and face t tattoos. And, you know, but them the ones, hey, they ready to go. You think this, this dude right here, he got a life? This motherfucker not working nowhere. If anything, he got his own business. Because you have to have your own business looking like this. You not going to get no job looking like this nowhere. Probably in the fucking backwoods. Probably daddy done gave me some land. Or he on his own, on his dad's own land. Just got a damn militia. They practicing shooting every morning and jogging. And, you know, practicing knife fights and shit. Come on, bro. And you, Jake, y'all better get, man. Y'all, <laughs> the Lord is about to let this man go, man. He's about to let this man go on you, Jake. And that's what we've been talking about, this Jacob's trouble. And see, I just seen another lesson with the brother, Shapar 12. And he was going off into it on it on this damn or whoever this apostle guy is talking about uh, Jacob's trouble is not going to be on Jacob. It's going to be on the other nations. Get the hell out of here. Why does it say Jacob's trouble then, clown? Come on, bro. Is that, uh... Who the fuck you do? Man, these people about to get down. What the hell you think? Jacob's trouble not going to be no cakewalk, nigga. You out here fooling our people into thinking that you everything going to be all right. And then one of the brothers was reading through the comments. And then you got Jake in the comment talking about, yeah, I'm, I'm so glad to see somebody with a positive mindset on it. I'm glad to know that we ain't going to be going through no troubles. We done been through enough. Get the hell out of here, man. You lucky the Lord ain't knocked your ass completely off, man. We, we, we are blessed to just have a remnant of us left, man. The things that we've done to our Lord, man. We, we are blessed, man. We shouldn't even be, uh, uh, the Lord could have easily uh, picked another one of these, these, these heathenist nations to be his people. He could have raised up rocks, like he said. We're not privileged, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we, um, you know, you, you see, Jake not appreciative, man. You should be very appreciative that the Lord chose us as a people. And, and, and that he's actually having mercy on us. This is mercy. This, this, this punishment that we're going through, this slavery that we've gone through, that's mercy, man. That's mercy from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. We should be through. Shouldn't even be one of us even left on this damn planet, man. And you got Jake, oh, well, yeah, we done been through enough. Nah, you, all right. How you gonna tell the Lord of, of what you've been through? How, how you gonna tell the Lord about the punishment that he gives? That's basically what they're saying. Well, the Lord, he done done enough to us. Hell out of here, man. The Lord has been merciful to us, but you best believe this thing is about to come down the pipe and it's going to come down hard on Jake because Jake not going to be ready. Jake not going to be ready, man. This is um, Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Hey, that, that's clear cut right there. Jacob going to be saved out of it, but he's going to go through it, though. Come on, man. That, that's just common sense. He's going to go through it. Why would he need to be? Why, why would he be saved out of it if he's not in it? <laughs> it don't make no sense, man. Why would he be saved out of it if he's not going to be going through anything? That, that, that don't even make hardly no sense, bro. Just see, Jake don't don't comp Well, I guess that's the Lord dealing with him, too, man, as far as blinding him, because that's a common sense um, um, statement right there. Let me let me see how the NLT words it. It says in all history, there has never been such a time of terror. It will be a time of trouble for my people, Israel. See, yet in the end, 
they will be saved. See that? Man, that's a beautiful. I ain't even never even read it um on, on that um like that. It says C note in 520. Let me see here. Jeremiah 5 and 20. Let me check that out real quick. Never seen that before. Here we go. This is the NLT footnotes. It says Hebrew to the house of Jacob. The name Jacob and Israel are often interchanged. Okay, they're just saying that um, it says interchanged throughout the Old Testament, referring sometimes to the individual patriarch and sometimes to the nation. Okay, I see what they're saying. But anyway, I mean, this is a clear cut right here. Let's go back to that. Let's get that one more time. And I'm going to end out. I'm not going to keep this long. But um, just want to show you, um, you Jake, man. Hey, y'all got to wake up, man. Because this guy, you, you, you see, he says we're everywhere. They're everywhere, for real. This motherfucker is at your, you know. He's at the baseball game. He's at the football game. He might have be the guy out there with the food truck. You know, just, just in, you know, just out there, just camouflage, just blending in with the terrain, man. And that's Esau. That's why the scripture says Esau is a cunning hunter. You know, a cunning hunter, they camouflage themselves. They blend in with the terrain. They use different types of things to set the trap. And that's Esau. Esau out here everywhere. That's why I'm saying, see, that's why it was so easy for that so-called white man to, to shoot up, um, shoot up the general dollar and kill those three so-called black people down there in Florida. Because why? Because nobody pays um, Esau attention like that. See, when you see a so-called white man, you should be it should, you should be in full alert. You should be damn near calling 911, like how they call 911 on you. Well, I see a strange person over here. Well, what's he doing? I'm not sure. He's just looking strange. Can you send a car? <laughs> That's what they'll do to your ass. You see what I'm saying? That's just like the guy that shot up the supermarket out there in New York, right? Remember last year? Shot up and killed like 10, 11, 12 people, big mama and them. He went and done reconnaissance the day before. He went and scouted off the joint. He, 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 he walked all through there. He even talked to certain people. Came back the next day. See? And you know why he was able to do that? Because Esau is under the radar like that. You know, that's how they've been playing. You know, that, that's that fugitive um, um, shit they've been doing. Because Esau is a damn fugitive in the earth. That's the reason why he doesn't want you to know who he really is. But when you go off into 2 Thessalonians, let's go into that real quick. Because this is what's happening to this man. See, before he used to be able to go under, you know, under, you know, disguise himself. And he's just a regular old guy that's just, you know, you know, just, you know, you just see him out. He waving at you. He's got his newspaper with his cup of coffee. And you just think that he's the, you know, the greatest thing in the world. Oh, man, that's why you'd be so surprised when the, the police are su surrounding their goddamn house and, and come to find out he was a damn bank robber from 30 years ago or some shit. Like, oh, I never would have thought that. <laughs> this is Esau though man 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3 It says Let no man deceive you by any means For that day shall not come Except there come a falling away first And that man of sin be revealed The son of perdition And this is what's going on in these last days The son of, of perdition The man of sin is being revealed Right before your very eyes Every day you're seeing something different With this man And, and, it's, and everybody is pointing and, and it's all the nations now even Esau is telling on Esau. They're showing you who they are. This man has run throughout the earth. He has torn every goddamn thing up. He would not leave nobody alone. He would never have enough. He's constantly just going somewhere. He's con and, and guess what? This man is using your taxpayers' money. Now, now, what is what 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 do, what do Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans have to do with uh, any type of war between Russia and Ukraine? Nothing. Well, guess what? They're using your taxpayers' money to send over there to Ukraine. And you know those, those fucking Ukrainians hate you? They hate Negroes. It's all kinds of um, news stories. It's all they, you can see them. When, when, when the war first jumped off with that Ukrainian hookup, they was like, keep them niggers off the train. Keep them. No, you, no you're not getting on here with us. We're getting our families out of here first. There was a lot of racism going on, but what, what, what did Joe Biden and them do? They swept it under the rug. We're going to give them some billions. We're going to give them a few more billion. 
we going to give them a few more billion. And guess where those billions are coming from? Out of your motherfucking taxes. While your neighborhoods is trash. You got potholes and shit. You know, every damn thing dirty as hell. Everything all broken down, all blighted houses and all kinds of shit. You living through the worst of the situation while they're sending your taxpayers money to, to fucking Ukraine to some crackers that don't even like you. Come on, man. Y'all better wake the hell up, man. And realize that these people are your enemies, the, the, the Americans, the, the Russian ones, the Ukrainian ones, the German ones, the Italian ones. They're all your enemies, man. These people don't like you. They're never going to like you. They're always going to look down on you. But guess what? Now that social media is on their ass, they'll stand there and they be, you know, talking as if they love everybody. Yeah, if you was a fly on the wall in any room that they was talking in afterwards, you'll see that they don't like you, man. So... Hey, what this person say? We're everywhere. So, hey, use some damn common sense, man. Like I said, hey, go to the supermarket and shop. Get your food. All that little favorite stuff that you like to eat, make that shit at home. You can make a Chinese food deal meal at your house. You can make um, a pizza at your house. You can make a, a damn burger at your house. You can make a smoothie at your house. You can make coffee at your house. <laughs> you know, you don't have to get up and go and, and do the every damn thing that a commercial pops up and shows you, man. Stop doing all that shit. That way, that, that'll keep you, that'll save you some gas, first off. That'll keep you out of these people's neighborhoods. Because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you get caught up in one of these neighborhoods and they see you and they catch you alone. And, and, and Esau got some numbers on them with a couple of little drinks in them. Your ass is, is grass. <laughs> telling you now. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Come here, Shola.